outsourcing Billboard's Hot 100 of August, I believe it was August 9th, 1975. Got, we're, getting, we're getting into the disco era. Uh, that summer, Casey and the Sunshine Band get down tonight. Big disco hit. Also, uh, Fan McCoy's The Hustle, another big one, summer 1975. And Gary Tom's Empire with uh, 7654321, Blow Your Whistle. Got some funky grooves, a, a danceable bass line in this record. It's heating up some of the disco floors, particularly in New York City. Let me read you the top five hits from 1975 real quick. Well, the week of August 9th, 1975. Let me get to that. Here we go. Someone Saved My Life Tonight by Elton John, up from number six, number six to number five. One of These Nights by the Eagles at number four, down from number one the previous week. Please, Mr. Please by Olivia Newton-John at number three. I'm Not in Love, produced by Jonathan King by TNCC at number two. Number one, Jive Talking by the Bee Gees, their big comeback hit, produced by Arif Mardine. Number one, up from number three the previous week, August 9, 1975. And let's go all the way down to number 73 on Billboard's Hot 100 that week. 7654321, Blow Your Whistle by the Gary Toms Empire. I did manage to find a little bit of information on Gary Toms. Uh, this was a disco record, big disco hit in New York City. When this, the first week of release, this record sold 40,000 copies in New York City. Disco was just red hot in the major cities, New York City in particular. 40,000 copies in New York City. That's the first week. Gary Toms, he was with the Pickwick label. And he stayed with the Pickwick label until the label folded in late 1976, but not before. He came out with several 12-inch singles that were killer. One of them, Drive My Car, the Beatles classic. Covered the Beatles classic, Drive My Car. Put the disco spin on that record. Stand Up and Shout and Party Hardy couple of ones by uh, Gary uh, by Gary Toms the nice horn stabs one of the signature sounds of his records now the clavinet I believe the clavinet was used on this record I could hear a little bit of it on this record the clavinet was really the instrument it was a keyboard it was real big in the 70s Stevie Wonder played the clavinet on Superstition Higher Ground and also Christine McPhee she played the clavinet on You Make Love and Fun by Fleetwood Mac which I think that song was awful rumors but the biggest oh my goodness the guy who really just blew the clavinet right out to the open sort of Billy Preston it's instrumental, outer space, summer 1972, the clavinet, front stage, front of the record, the instrumental. Well, that's it. At number 73, it will not get any higher than 73. Gary Tom's Empire with Blow Your Whistle.